Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the lightweight bout between Manuel Torres versus Chris Duncan. And how I feel about this one right here is I'm going low confidence um, Manuel Torres to beat Chris Duncan. Yeah, low confidence for sure. If I could go very low, I will go very low. Is this a... It... Oh, it's called making noises, playing games a little bit. But, um... If I could make it even lower, I mean, I could. I would, say I would not make it. I mean, it could be very low, but it would not be the lowest of lows. It's definitely been some low prediction. Like, um, I really could care less about this fight, but I got to pick a guy, so I'm gonna pick this guy. It's been picks that I was like, I really don't care for, and I just couldn't pick a side. So I just had to pick a side. It's not one of those, but um, definitely not one of the picks I would feel like I'm gonna have to. I don't know. I'm yapping too much about nothing. It's a low confident pick. That's all I'm saying. It's a low confidence. So we, we get that. <laughs> yeah, I feel um Manuel Torres grappling is definitely a big, you know, kind of a gray area, kind of a weaker area in this game. Gray area kind of means like kind of gray. Like you don't know what's it's, we don't know too much about it. But I think a little bit different. I'm just saying this area we don't know how much he's improved in that area. But we know it's a weak it's the weakest area of his game. It's pretty weak last time we really seen it tested. So he could have made adjustments, and that's what I'm going to bank on. He's in Mexico. He wants to make a big performance. I'm not expecting him to go out there and out-grapple, out-wrestle Chris Duncan, but I'm expecting his takedown defense to be on point. And I'm expecting him to really look to put some heat on Chris Duncan and put Chris Duncan's lights out. But Chris Duncan definitely has, I feel, is the better overall fighter and can mix up the grappling, and, you know, he has more paths to victory. But I'm leaning on Manny Torres to kind of step up tonight. When I said tonight, we'll step up on tonight and um, show improvements in his grappling defense to stuff the takedowns. And if he does in the position to be able to defend himself well, get back to speed and put some heat on um Chris Duncan, put some elbows on him, probably time some of his shots, you know, his punches, and intercept him with elbow, like have him like fall, like lean into elbow, and put Chris Duncan out, I'm gonna say um first round TKL. So I'm expecting him to catch him early, or not early, but catch him in the first round, early or late in the first round, and you know, again, put some heat on him and don't allow Chris Duncan to get his game going. So again, probably best way to do that is to get him out of there in the very first round. So the fight don't settle down, the heat don't settle down, and don't allow him to get, you know, sweaty and locked in his zone and get him while he's still a little bit stiff early in the fight in that first round and get him out of there. So in this one, I got Manuel Torres via first round TKO. 